In this video, I'll be working through the question you see on the screen from paper two of the 2024 Leave and Cert Ordinary Level exam. If you are looking for a different question from this paper, you should find a link to a playlist in the description below. I'll be doing all this on a whiteboard, hopefully so it's similar to what you're used to your teacher doing in the classroom. But remember, this isn't a classroom, we're on YouTube, so take advantage of that. Use the pause button, rewind, fast forward, watch it in high speed or slow speed, whatever helps you out. And if you do find this video or any of my videos useful, I would appreciate like, subscribe, all that stuff. What really helps out the channel the most is though, sharing it with someone that might find it useful. Question four is all about circles. And in part A, they give us an equation of a circle that you see here, x minus five squared plus y plus three squared equals 25. And they ask us two questions. What is the center and what is the radius? Don't give you much room to work it out. That means you can just look at this and get the answer pretty much. So hopefully you're used to this. An equation of a circle gives us lots of information minus this number so minus minus five is a five that's the x part of the center minus this number minus plus three is minus three and boom we have the answer we have the, uh, the center of the circle and the radius the radius is just equal to the square root of this number so the square root of 25 sometimes you can just leave that but if it goes in nicely like this one does square root of 25 is five and that's your two answers there. And um, then on to part two, it asks, using algebra, uh, investigate if the point five, uh, nine two, this point nine two, is, is on or inside or outside the circle. So that's a great thing we can do with equations of a circle. We can tell, uh, let me draw it here, we can tell if a point is inside, on the circle or outside, just by putting the point into this equation. So let's do that here. If we put in nine as an x, because that's the x part, and two as a y, what do we get? So if we put in nine, we get nine minus five squared uh, plus, put the two in for the y, two plus three squared, and I won't put in equals there, I'll just put 25, and I, you'll see why in a moment. If we clean this up, nine minus five is four, four squared is 16, 2 plus 3 is 5, 5 squared is 25, we leave 25 here, um, add these together we get uh, 41. So the question is, 41, so well, let me go back a bit first, uh, the point can be inside, on or outside. The number we get over here can be less than, equal to or bigger than, in this case it's bigger than. And that tells us what the case is. If it's less than, it's inside. If it's equal, like it was up here, it's on. And if it's greater than, it's outside. So in this case, uh, the answer is outside. So you tick the box that says outside. In part B, they ask us to construct the circle on the graph they give us. It looks roughly like this. They tell us the center of the circle is four minus one, and they tell us the radius is three. It's a very straightforward question is, we go to the point four minus one, go to four down to minus one, that's the center of the circle. Then they tell us the radius is three. We just simply need to get a tree length, tre uh, three units of length onto a compass. So uh, we could, I would just, I would do that by just by going one, two, three, getting this point, four, four minus four. Getting a compass and rotating it through. And just to emphasize that more, another way would be to go three this direction. So four minus one would become one minus one. Go three this way, instead of four minus one, we'd get seven minus one. Going three up, instead of four minus one, we get four plus two. Get a compass on any of these points. And uh, I will do my best to draw a circle here. That's uh, obviously a compass uh, you should do fine on. And that's it, that's all there was to part B. In part C, they draw us a circle on an axis like this, and they simply ask us to find the center and the radius, so the, the center point of this circle. Now, I, I like this question, it's a tricky one. It's, a, it's basically a puzzle, there's not much maths involved. 
In fact, yeah, we don't need to write down much maths at all, but we do need to solve the puzzle. Everything is here that you need. There's three interesting points um, over here, but I think a lot of students probably only know it's two of them. First of all, the one they gave us. Two, one. They tell us it's at the bottom part. It's right at the bottom, and they tell us the center is exactly above it. Uh, the next interesting point is the center. Hopefully everyone noticed that one. So we'd love to fill in the point there. And um, the third interesting point is the important one we actually need is here. Because the picture shows us that the circle touches uh, the Y, uh, it tells us that as well. The Y axis is a tangent to the circle. It touches it exactly here. So that's a third interesting point. Now with that information, we can fill in all of these numbers. So uh, let me show you what I mean. So this one is two, one. That means the X part here is two. Um, that means the Y part here is one. But look, the center is also above here. So the center has the point two. So we can fill in part of our answer already. So what other, is there any other numbers we can fill in? This point here, we know it is above here. This is two, one, zero. We know its X part is zero. Now we have to do a bit of uh, solving here. How far is it from this point to this point? Because that's the radius. How far from here to here? How far from here to here? It's two, it's of length two. So we know the radius is two. Now, if the radius is two, that means we also know the distance from here to here. That means we know the distance from here to here. It's also two. So what number must be here on the y-axis? It's two away from one. It must be a three on the y-axis. So it must be, this number here must be a three. And uh, is that everything? Oh no, sorry, we're still missing uh, this guy. Oh, well, he's at three as well. So we can get all the points of that just from that little mystery. Uh, we filled everything in here, two, three, radius of two. That's the answer to part C. I, I thought that was a really good tricky question with a bit of a puzzle for the part C. If you have any follow-up questions for any of these parts, please let me know in the comments below. I'll do my best to answer. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.